Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Raspberry Pi tutorial, we will learn how we can install XBMC on a Raspberry Pi. XBMC is a software which allows you to play any sort of media file, whether it is music file or a video file. And I mean any, it can be MKV, M2TS, MP3, OGG, whatever. Now there are three softwares which provide XBMC on Raspberry Pi. One of them is RaspBMC. Second is XBN and third is OpenELEC. Among them all, OpenELEC seems to provide the best performance. That's what I feel. And RASBMC is also very close to performance in comparison with OpenELEC. In XBN, I found it to be pretty okay. It's, it was not at par for me because it, it didn't give me the performance that I wanted. And the best part of Raspberry Pi is that its capability to play 1080p files without any hassles and at 60 hertz so that's really nice now if you want to get the rasp bmc image file you can go to the download section on raspbmc.com and over there you will have two options one is the network image and second is the standalone image now i would suggest you go for the standalone image and that's purely because you will not require any internet connection to download furthermore files the network image will be small in size when you're downloading but when you port it to your raspberry pi it will require internet connection to download many files so go for the standalone image file if you want raspbnc if you want xbn then go to xbn.com and over there go to the download and install section Over there, go to the manual section and over there you will have the Alpha XBN 1.0 Alpha 4. It is 144 MB and it will get constantly updated. The latest one is Alpha 4. So if we have Alpha 5, go for Alpha 5. Go for the latest one. Select either one of the mirrors if you want to download XBN. Now, later comes the Open Elec section. If you want Open Elec, then you can go to openelec.com. I suppose it's openelec.tv and over there go to get openelec and go to download section once you go to the download section you will have raspberry pi at the bottom of the page now at the bottom of the page you have raspberry pi builds click on it and over there you will have your openelec testing raspberry pi arm version whatever whatever now it is just 86 mb in size and that's the best part the open elect team has got to compress has has compressed the xbmc software into 86 mb and that's what provides good performance now you can download it but the issue that you will face is that open elect gives us a compressed file it does not give us a image file and if you are an advanced user you can directly extract the contents of this compressed file and convert it into an image file through a software but if you are a layman or a newbie and you just want the image file of open elect then you can go to this particular link which is there in the description on your screens and also below in the description at the bottom if you go at the bottom of this html web page then you will observe that you have a dot img dot zip file and go for the latest one this particular software of open elect gets updated every single day as you can see it's being updated two times every single day so just select the latest file and it should start downloading once the download is complete you can see i am having this particular zip file and you have to extract this particular zip file when you extract it you will get a dot img file this is the file which you need to write to your SD card and make it bootable now if you had XBN then you will have some other IMG file if you had RAS BMC you will have some other IMG file so all these three softwares will provide you with a dot IMG file which you need to write to your SD card now let's connect our Raspberry Pi first take the HDMI cable and connect the one end of the cable to your raspberry pi and make sure the other end of the hdmi cable is connected to your screen which can be a television or something else 
Now take the SD card which has the XBMC software. It can be XBN, OpenELEC or Rasp BMC. I'm running OpenELEC and then just plug it in at the back of the Raspberry Pi. Once you do that, take your micro USB cable and make sure the rating on the adapter says output is 5 volts and 700 milliampers is the current. So just connect it next to your SD card. Once you do that, that's great. And now finally take your SD card storage, that's the external SD card storage for which contains your media files and just connect it to one of the USB slots. Now you might require a mouse if the software does not detect your television remote. My software detects my television remote so I don't require a mouse. Now you can just power on your Raspberry Pi. The software should start booting up. And as you can see it says OpenELEC which is the XBMC software that we are using. So as you can see the software has loaded up and it's still loading. Okay, now I can control this particular software with the help of the remote as you can see and it's my television remote. Now if this television remote of yours does not work then you need to connect a USB mouse without which you cannot work. Once the software has loaded up you can play any media file. Let me just give you an example. I have a video file on my external SD card so it's official Blu-ray rip and it's 1080p so let me just give a playback of that particular file as you can see the file plays perfectly fine let me just fast forward so that you guys can have a look at the subtitles also and get an idea. I see you like to chew. Maybe you should chew. So as you can see it plays the subtitles also perfectly fine. And it's a completely awesome media player. So this is one of the best features that I found in the Raspberry Pi that converts it into a proper media player that a user wants. Now it has, this software has got tons of uh, features like airplay from your mobile device or you can even create a web server and share your files over the same internet network and if you want to shut down this particular software then you need to go to the shutdown button at the bottom click on it and then it will, it will tell you to power off the system and then just select power off system when you do that, the system will power off immediately and you need to just wait till the time you have only a red sign blinking on your Raspberry Pi. And once that happens, you can just shut down your Raspberry Pi. That's it with this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrick.com.